How's it going everybody? It's Jeff Bain with Team Real and the Blues. Well today, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get these seat bases mounted. I've been putting off getting them mounted because of the fact that I was waiting until I built the consoles. Getting ready to do this, then I started thinking there's probably a lot of people that have wondered or been a little bit scared to cut the holes in the boat to make these uh, mounts for these seats. Well, what I've got is I've got the taper lock seat bases. They just walk, came with the boat. Uh, I just done a little video showing how I cleaned these up. They looked pretty nasty. Uh, I just cleaned them up using a uh, standard grinder, but I done it to where everything's nice and uniform. It really wasn't that hard. I thought about taking and grinding them, then sanding them with two or three uh, different step downs of uh, sandpaper, you know, and then polishing them up. But I don't really care if they're polished or not. I'll probably end up painting them or use something like a, a bed liner in this boat anyway. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get these things marked out and get them mounted. But now that i got the consoles, I know exactly where to put these things. So now i got everything worked out in my head how it's going to lay out. Let's get started. Well, here's the consoles I just made. And you can see they turned out pretty nice. They're both 24 inches wide. Gives me a 20 inch hole right here in the middle to walk through. This boat originally, I don't know if you've seen in the other videos, it only had a single console on this side, and this side was wide open. I fish mostly in the winter, so I wanted it to where I can have a windshield all the way across. My idea later on down the line is we're going to put a windshield all the way across. It's going to have a door in the middle where we can open it up, and I may even make a half hard top for this thing that I can remove and put on anytime I want to. But that's for a future video. Let's get started on these boat seat bases. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my captain's seat base. Uh, it's round. It's a little bit bigger round, but it, it still gives me an idea of how it's going to work out when I put it in here. So I'm going to use this captain's seat base. It's as flat, and I can go ahead and set it. And I'm thinking about right there is where I want the seat. We'll flip this open and look at it. All right, so you can see I got it right here in the middle. Right here, I got it right If I decide to put a foot drive trolling motor, I can. But more likely, it's going to be an autopilot. So I want it where I can reach this uh, live well easily for opening and closing it. And when I'm out here cracking fishing, I want it where I can literally reach everything, storage or the live wells, and not interfere with anything. So that right there is going to work perfect. So I've got the spot where I'm going to put it all figured out, so we'll go ahead and get this thing marked out and go ahead and get it cut. Okay, here's what we got. I'm going to put the base right here. The base I'm going to use is 9 inches, so I'm going to set it 5 inches off of this edge. I'm going to put the center of it right here. It gives me about a half inch gap right here. And 4 and 5 eighths, this center stanchion right here is 9 and a quarter, so I'm going to go 4 and 5 eighths. And there's the center of it. First thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and drill the hole all the way through. And that gives me an idea of whether or not I'm interfering with anything. That's just a small hole. Nothing on this side that I can get into. Nothing on that side. And that's going to put it where it clears everything underneath here. And that's good. I've got a rib here and a rib here. I had to put it where I don't interfere with anything. All right, we'll go and get that thing drilled out. Okay, what we're going to use is a uh, three and a half inch hole saw. This is aluminum, so it's going to cut pretty easy, but this is thick aluminum. So you got to take your time. And one thing you can do is after you get this started, go ahead and spray a little WD-40 or even put a couple drops of oil around it. And what it'll do is it'll keep that aluminum from gumming up the teeth on this drill. And it should make drilling it a whole lot easier. There we go. Getting the hole started. Now you see I've got a ring all the way around it. I know exactly where that hole is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and put a little WD-40 in it. There we go. Just remember, take your time, go slow, don't rush it. Yeah. 
Took my time, went right through it, went no problem at all. Now we'll go ahead and drill through this PVC. There we go. Drill through the PVC, we got that part done. Drop right down in there and I can center this thing up where it needs to be and that's her. She is done. It's gonna look good too. And here's the type of base this is. It just snaps right down in there. There we go. I think we're good. I know you've seen me catching those imaginary slabs up here on the front, but here's what the deal is. It turned out real, real nice. I wanted it to where when I'm sitting right here, I can reach the rods. I'll probably put a uh, T-bar here and a T-bar right here, and that way when I'm doing pushing for crappy, I can reach right up, grab the rod with no problem. And I wanted it where when I get that fish in the boat, I literally can take him off, flip him right over in the line wheel, and keep on going. As always, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them, and I'll try to answer them as quick as I can. If you're not a sub, please consider subscribing. I think it's going to make an awesome, crappy, slash striper boat. It's looking really, really good. Thank you for watching. Man, I can see it right now. Pull them in both hands, just like that. Both hands. I'm going to fill it up. Gonna be good. Gonna be good.